Hi, this is a questionnaire interview series of what is actually asked at the interview for Power by Role. We have a list of KPIs that the interviewer would expect from us. Before we begin with, let me show you the data we have that is stock underscore market underscore data, which is imported in Excel. Importing all the columns as shown here in the right side, which is called as pain view or field view or even called as data view. Having other set of views at the left side, which is report view, table view, model view and DAX query view. Going on to table view, we have date column for only Jan month. And we have company where APL stands for Apple and MSFT stands for Microsoft. And we have other columns such as open, high, low, close volume. Moving on to the first question here, we have explained the data set you have been given, which we have already looked at it now. Second question is how would you handle missing or anomalous data in this data set before loading it into Power BI? For this, we can go to transform view. and check for any inconsistency in the data set, like blanks. Another quick time saving method is to go to the tool tab, not view tab. and check for column quality to actually view the inconsistency data like arrows, nulls and blanks. And to add more other transformations, we can select one column, go to rounding as shown and select any digit of your choice to transform the data. I will remove it as I wouldn't be needing it. We can also observe the date column here where you can arise a question like there are two similar dates, but the answer is in the company column as we have the date according to the company. Once all transformations is done, we can close and apply. Moving on to third question. Create a time series visualization in Power BI to show the trend of the closing prices for each company. What insights can you derive from this visualization? For this, we can go to new page, drop a line chart and drop. Close and date column. We can now visualize the closing trend prices as a sum for all company. but not each company. To do that, we shall drop the company column in the line chart. Also, we can play around the axis where we can change it to categorical, but the date axis is not aligned well. Henceforth, we can go back to the visual file and change the label to concatenate to combine the date. Here we can check that format of date looks good. Showcasing values over the time in the line graph. We can cross verify the values using a matrix table to drop the same columns. as we put in the line chart and compare the values in the visuals. Next question is how would you compare the stock performance of April, Apple and MSFT Microsoft using Power BI? Here we can compare the stock performance by either adding pie chart, stacked column chart, line chart, here we can use dual axis chart to compare the results. 
similar way we can add close column company to compare also adding volume to trend line y axis to compare the results to check for values we can add the data label here we can see that msft is the highest when compared to apple also the comma precision can be compared adding a pie chart as well Here also we can see that we have MSFT having high closures. Next question is the same explainer version of above questions, which has to be explained over the KPIs created now. Moving on next is the DAX level of questions asked. Using DAX, how would you create a measure to calculate the average daily return for each stock? Going on to new page. we can create a new measure of calculating average daily returns which is average of close open upon open writing it to a new measure We can use average x which calculates the expression over a table, adding table name and a expression divided by open. We can reformat this. And now we can visualize this onto the graph to check AVG returns in a day by adding the date column. Therefore, it can be seen that 0.02 is highest RVG returns on 2nd Jan 9th and Jan 14th. We can also compare this company wise to check AVG returns daily for each company. Moving on to final question in DAX, which is create a measure to calculate the volatility standard deviation of the closing prices over a period. Why is this metric important? The DAX formula is volatility calculate standard deviation P, which is of population, taking close column and graphing this data. Let's reformat this and check for results over a period. And that's it for this interview series.